Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, if you're new here and you're into LumaFusion, consider subscribing as we have a ton of videos all about LumaFusion. Now, as you may know, LumaFusion 3.0 has just been released and it's a real big update. It's added a ton of new features, but the one that a lot of you have been asking for and the one I've been waiting for too is the ability to edit and export to an external drive. It just makes using your iPad much more like using a Mac or PC. And I can tell you it works flawlessly. So how do you use it? Maybe you didn't even know it was in the update. Well, let's jump into LumaFusion and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so we're now inside LumaFusion. Now, the first thing we need to do is connect your external hard drive. I'm using a Samsung T5 SSD, a really nice, fairly cheap SSD hard drive that you can just chuck into your bag. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna go into the Samsung T5, and I've got some shots here of a Tesla. I've recently bought a Tesla, so if you wanna see that review, I'll put a link in the description below. So what would usually happen in LumaFusion. Let's say we want to sort of mark this in and out point and then we want to drag it to the timeline. What you can see normally appears is this little icon here to show you that this clip is downloading from the hard drive to the iPad. But of course this uses up a ton of storage and that's not what we want. So what you now need to do, let's just delete that clip there, is you're going to go to settings and then you're going to come across to preferences. And then we're gonna scroll down to external drive editing, and then we're gonna flick that on. And then you'll get this message appear, turn on external editing. When external drive editing is on, clips added to the timeline will not be copied into LumaFusion. The drive must be connected. So this is very similar if, uh, as if you're using like Final Cut or Premiere Pro. So we're gonna turn that on. I'm now gonna go back and just refresh this. And let's try that drone shot again. So if I now do this, I can play this from the hard drive. And then if we drag it down to the timeline, what did you notice? There's no downloading icon. So we can do this with a few clips here. Drag that down. It actually makes the process a little bit faster as well. So you can leave these clips on here. They play through super, super smooth as you can see. I haven't really noticed any lag at all. But what that means is if you do have an iPad with a smaller hard drive, maybe you've just got a 32 gig or 64 gig iPad, you can now just buy any external drive, as big a storage as you want, and you can use that. But not only uh, can you edit from the drive, you can export to the drive as well. So we're gonna say ex uh, export this movie, and what you can do is you can export it to photos like you normally would, but of course that will export it to the internal storage of the iPad. What we're gonna do is add or edit destinations. We are going to add files because you notice the drive doesn't appear, but files does. So simply drag that across there like so. I'm gonna drag it up because that will be probably my primary export place. You'll see it now appears here. So we're gonna go to files and you can see that we're now gonna export to the external hard drive. So I'm gonna press export, external hard drive, and we can add a link to the specific folder. So let's add a link to a folder there. I'm just gonna pop it in the top of the Samsung T5 drive, click done, and this is going to export. go and we're now exporting these two massive clips to the hard drive now this is 14 minutes long so I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me export a 14 minute clip but just to let you know this does export perfectly I think it actually exports around about the same amount of time it might be very very slightly slower than exporting to your iPad but in all honesty I just find this much better this means you can use your iPad as almost like a full desktop editing software now. There's very little that LumaFusion can't do anymore. You know, that was one of the biggest call outs. Can we use an external hard drive? Now you can, and that's how you do it.
So there we go. I didn't want to make this too long of a tutorial, but that is how you now use an external drive using LumaFusion and your iPad. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comments section below and make sure to check out our other LumaFusion videos that you can see by clicking up here or in the link in the description down below. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.